The video we're about to watch, Pete Bog Soldier, is about a genuine Chicago character named Eddie Balchowski. He was a volunteer with a few thousand others in the Spanish Civil War, fighting fascism in 1936 and 7. Balchowski was about 20 then, and part of the idealistic group called the Abraham Lincoln Brigade. Over a thousand Americans were killed in the war in Spain then, and Belchowski, as you will see, was permanently disabled. This documentary was produced in 1989 by Diane Weirman, just months before Belchowski died in an accident on the subway train in Chicago at North Avenue. A plaque was dedicated to Belchowski that reads as follows. In memory of Edward Ross Belchowski, 1916 to 1989, Artist, poet, raconteur, one-armed pianist, veteran of the Spanish Civil War as a volunteer in the Abraham Lincoln Brigade. From your friends, family, and fellow premature anti-fascists, we salute you. You can also watch another video of a survivor of the Spanish Civil War and the Lincoln Brigade, Chicagoan Johnny Rosson. All you have to do is click the link below. There's a valley in Spain called Harama. It's a place that we all know so well. It was there that we fought for Spain's freedom and most of our brave comrades fell. Oh, we're proud of the Lincoln Battalion and the stand at Madrid that they made. Oh, they fought like true sons of the soil as part of the 15th Brigade. Por favor, una palabra más. Yo lucha en la guerra contra Franco. Pardon? Que no lo entiendo, pero veo que me están grabando. Gracias. She said she didn't understand. I said I fought in the war against Franco, and she said, no entiendo. <laughs> summer of 1934, I was involved with some people that were doing some political work, and I swear I don't know quite what it was, but this is when I heard about what was going on in Germany with the Jews. And shortly, late, shortly after that, I, I learned about the international brigades that were fighting against Hitler in Spain. These people were much more politically you know, involved than I was. But uh, I could identify with, a, with an aspect of it that was so personal. So I became a reconnaissance scout and an observer for the British Battalion along the Ebro River. And then about the 1st of September, I went back to the front and joined the Lincoln Battalion. And a week later, I was wounded. And uh, I was hit from over this way someplace. It, it came and hit my arm and uh, laterally. And I remember falling back and I saw this fountain of blood come up over my head and I hollered for a stretcher bearer, sanitario, sanitario. I was very concerned because it was my right hand and I was a pianist, but that, the, the pain and the, uh, the trauma over, just blotted everything out. on the SS Harding with about 40 other wounded men. And of course, uh, instant drunk, and immediately, you know. From 39 to 46 or seven, uh, a day didn't go by when I didn't drink uh, quite a bit. 
and sometimes an awful lot. I'm, I wonder how I went through it. After eight years of it, a friend of mine said, you're killing yourself with alcohol. Uh, this is better. And he introduced me to heroin. And uh, just about in time, too. Because with my appetite, appetites, you can, is there a plural for plural? If there is, those are my appetites. I mean, uh, the crowd I ran with uh, were, were too mobile to actually <laughs> take root anywhere. They just flitted from place to place, and I was one of the flits. Yeah, it was it was all amphetamine. Nobody had time for for heroin or morphine. It slowed you down too much. Between forty-seven and seventy-five, I I did a little bit of like two years, but it was always petty stuff. I got busted twice and did time for possession of marijuana. I mean, all this time I'm using heroin and probably buying and selling it, but when I got busted, it was for pot. Think of it uh, this way. I'm into art and music and poetry and uh, all sorts of things, piano playing, singing. And 20 years go by, and uh, I'm still doing what I can, but I realize I'm doing less and less of what I really want to do, because most of my energy is going into getting the money and getting the dope and staying being high. I'd been working on myself. It ended with this procedure. I'd bring the dope home, and I'd say, now you're cooking the dope. i talk to myself while I'm doing it. Now you're tying up. Now you draw up the dope, and now there's the vein, and now you're going to hit yourself only, I'd say, and now the door came in, and the cops are there, and now you're laying on the floor at Cook County Jail sick, and then I would hit myself with the drug. I brought the most powerful negative train of thought I could conceive of in immediate proximity with the drug itself, and it was not the same. It began to change. I began to get away from it. Thank mm -hmm. you.